When you look at how people connect to the internet today, there's really only about two to six companies in any one country in the world that control how everybody gets online. At Open Garden, we're really trying to fundamentally shift that balance of power away from these companies and back toward communities. We're doing it by developing something we call the Open Garden Protocol. It's sort of like Airbnb for internet access. The idea is that lots of people have a little extra bandwidth that they aren't using. With the Open Garden Protocol, you can set a price, decide how much internet you want to share with your neighbors, and turn your connection into a Wi-Fi hotspot. Your neighbors can then connect to you. We want millions of people to share their internet access. We call it the Internet of Us. These companies are really at the control center for how we connect to the internet today. And that has some benefits, but it also has some pretty significant downsides. This wasn't how the internet was initially envisioned. It was meant to be decentralized, in which there's no one company that really controls the internet. The internet is more expensive in America and in many parts of the world because there's not a lot of competition driving down cost. The internet is also slower because the pace of innovation doesn't require people to compete. As such, we've got slower internet speeds. The internet is also a whole lot less private than we initially envisioned it to be because these same companies are monitoring everything you do, taking that data, and then selling it to advertisers. They also take that same data and give it to governments who can monitor everything you're doing as well. 